hey guys welcome back to another video on my channel in this video i will be washing my hair with you guys and at the end i will be telling you guys about my natural hair journey how it's been so far and all of that good stuff so please do watch until the end so what you see me doing right now in this clip is that i am hydrating my hair in an attempt to detangle it before washing it i'm hydrating it with onion water that i prepared a couple of weeks ago i've been using this on my hair for such a long time i'm honestly just waiting for it to finish next after completely hydrating my hair i comb it out to get rid of any knots that might be in the hair because i did have it in condos for a couple of weeks so that's just me trying my hardest to detangle while being very delicate as well and trying not to you know be too rough with it i try to go section by section when i do this because you know natural hair can be very painful when you comb it out so you want to be do you want to work in small sections so you get the maximum effect of what you are trying to do this is just what my hair looks like after detangling it looks really nice and rich i like it i just don't like how there's a permanent <laughs> line to the back because i keep doing this to my hair i don't know why i keep trying to divide it into two sections when even when i wash it i don't necessarily do it into two sections just feel like it looks really weird that's fine next i hop into the shower and i use this oh so clean and jerky shampoo i've used this shampoo for quite some time i really like it i want to try out different shampoos but i really 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 like this one so it's hard for me to try out new ones although i'm going to challenge myself to try out new products you never know maybe i might find something that might work better than this one this is just me washing the hair i have some shampoo in there and let me tell you this process was not easy to film at all it was so hard to film but i'm happy that i was able to get the results that i was looking for this is the bag so you see me what you see right now is me washing the hair with one hand i only did that for the camera so i would uh put the camera down here and there and i would wash my hair properly with both hands grab it as much as i can but also try not to scar my scalp because the scalp can be very sensitive and you do not want to scar it yes this is just me trying to rinse out the shampoo that i put in there next i go in with this conditioner and one thing i didn't realize when i was filming before i filmed this video is that the conditioner had run out so i didn't have a lot of product to work with so i just tried to use that as even as i could then i hopped out of the shower got my oil i was attempting to do the lock method loc which stands for liquid which is the water that i put in the hair oil i used my black castor oil from i believe it's native child i might be wrong i will double check that just put that in my hair and then i went in with this overnight conditioner i don't know how to pronounce the name of this brand i don't want to lie and it's also my first time using it the consistency of it feels like and jerky curling products i don't necessarily like those products they feel very has a weird consistency so i try not to the only uh, product i use from and jerky is their shampoo because it's sulfate free i believe is what they call it otherwise the rest of the products don't necessarily work for me and i think i could say the same about this well not that it doesn't work but the feel of it it feels a little bit like silicone it feels like they have silicone in there i don't know if you guys know what i mean but it doesn't feel like a product it doesn't feel like what a moisturizer or a normal conditioner 
from a different brand would feel like but that's what I have at the moment so I'm just gonna use that and hope that it gets the job done I mean looking at it now in the mirror I think the job is done I'm just waiting for it to completely absorb into the hair and it's an overnight conditioner which means I have to wash it out in the morning without fail so that kind of sucks next what I'm doing here is I'm trying to braid my hair into cornrows so that it doesn't completely shrink I don't wear my hair out at all because one it's a very short length and two I have an issue with my hairline and I'm trying to fix that so I try not to wear it out because if I do I might start doing like really hectic hairstyles on the hair and my uh, like that's just going to defy the whole purpose of trying to grow it out another thing I will say is none of the lines on my hair are straight because I freestyle it so don't be shocked if you see me walking around with lines that are not straight it honestly is just fine i wear wigs anyway so nobody really gets to see these uneven lines and lines that are not straight thank god i could do cornrows right because this does really help so usually i do this every two weeks wash my hair in the shot well I do put water in my hair quite often but what I realize in watching this video is that my hair is pretty dry it's extremely dry I don't know if it's because I'm always putting water into it or what the case may be but I think that's something I need to work on find a way to deal with that maybe if I stop just putting water into it all the time it wouldn't be so dry but anyway this is me putting cornrows into the hair I'm going to braid my entire head it looks like um, it this usually takes me about 20 minutes there's, sorry there's a bit of noise outside but this usually takes me about 20 minutes maximum to do and yeah that's and that's honestly because I don't like I don't try to be very meticulous with it. I just do it so that the hair is put away nicely. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed those few clips of me hey guys, washing it. Don't be confused. This is still a hair video. I just decided that it would be better and less just less um it would be better if I just did it vlog style. So I just finished taking a shower and now I'm doing a bit of my skincare. But essentially, I came on here to talk about my natural hair journey, which has not been easy at all, especially this time around. So just to give you guys a little bit, let me get my mirror, bit of context. I started growing my hair naturally in 2018. Yeah, I still have some conditioner in my hair. Started growing my hair in 2018. Uh, I grew it until 2020. 2022 or 2021 that time around when i was growing my hair i was very excited about it very like i was just very involved in the process i was excited i was watching natural hair videos and like it was reflecting in how my hair was growing because it was growing really well like what when i what when i tried to remember my natural hair journey from there i remember my hair being this small and then all of a sudden it was like huge and i'm trying to figure out how i did it because this time around i don't want to lie i'm actually struggling not only am i struggling with my hairline which i'm trying to recover but like just with the overall taking care of it and falling in love with it like i it's it's just it's a bit of a struggle a bit of, of a struggle i always have my hair in cornrows because at first it was because like the length is just really weird it's at the teeny weeny afro stage but not the cute one obviously because my hairline is a problem so i can't really wear the hair out it's a bit frustrating actually i'm trying to oh so like i was saying i grew my hair out naturally from 28 until 2022 in 2022 i was heartful i was tired of it i was like you know what i'm gonna relax it i don't know what came over me but i did decide that i wanted to relax it so i relaxed it i was very shocked by the length 
it did not reflect how thick and rich my hair was when it was relaxed it did not reflect that it just went back to being like really really short i've never been someone who's um relaxed hair grew very well my hair relaxed is actually worse like it's not good at all i don't like it that's why i stopped uh, re uh, relaxing in 2018 but when i went back for whatever reason it was just not how i expected it so naturally i just hated it and i was just like oh my god i can't wait to cut this hair you know it was very thin so i did end up cutting it although it wasn't out of the best circumstances but i did end up cutting my hair I tried to, I was struggling also with how it looked short, so I tried to bleach it, I did a lot of stuff. But before I even relaxed or cut it, I was already having hairline problems. So I would gel my hairline a lot, gel it down a lot, do baby hairs. And although they looked cute, I could tell that the reason why I had to do, it's not because I wanted to, but it's because I had to. And the reason why I had to do those baby hairs is because my hairline was slowly but surely being pushed back. And someone told me that it could have been because I was braiding my own hair, which also dis uh, ex might explain why it was growing so fast because I was always braiding it myself. Like doing braids, someone told me that when you, the more you do braids on your hair, the higher the chances of your hair doing them yourself that is the higher the chances of your hair receding actually it was a it was a hairstylist who told me that this so i don't know how true that actually is i mean could just be that she wanted to get an extra customer out like of me. I was saying um eventually oh i did go to a salon because i would always just braid my hair myself but then i decided you know what let me go get it professionally braided went to a salon, got the combing of my life. I think I may have even cried because there was knots in it. I don't know, maybe I wasn't taking care of it as well as I, oh no, it's because I did not, I wasn't applying any heat to the hair, so it wasn't stretched out at all. I would only stretch it out by twists. So yeah, the salon was also a horrible experience. So after that, that's actually what made me uh, decide to just go ahead and relax it because it's like if i'm going to continue growing it and i want to uh, frequent hair salons to get it braided then i'm i'm going to struggle every time because they're going to keep applying heat and it's always going to be painful and i was starting to not like how the hair looked when they would apply heat in it because i used to uh, i grew my hair but not by not applying any heat so it was very rich the clips that you saw of me washing my hair it was as rich as that but obviously fuller and bigger and now i feel like i am struggling just emotionally having to deal with growing it physically just the act of like washing it i don't wash it as often as I don't quite remember how often I used to wash my hair, but I think it, I used to do it at least every week or every two weeks. Right now, I, I do skip a week. Sometimes I wash it every two weeks. I wash it as it is in cornrows. Like the love that I have or had for natural hair is just, has gone down just because it's so much work. But also on the other hand, like i can't necessarily relax my hair because i know how i look with relaxed hair and it's not that's not that my favorite version of myself i prefer myself with my natural hair so i'm just in a bit of a pickle i'm in a bit of a pickle i don't know what to do i know i will not be relaxing or cutting it i'm going to continue growing it i'm going to hope and pray that my hairline recovers I haven't been using anything special outside of trying like different remedies that I see on the internet. I've tried rice water, which I've tried um, when I was growing my hair before cutting it. I've tried onion water. I've tried rosemary water. I actually bought rosemary again. I think I'm going to try it again. It's, I've tried everything under the sun. Well, not under the sun. There's more that I still want to try. That much I do enjoy about growing my hair. I enjoy making the little concoctions, putting them in my hair, you know, experimenting, seeing how long it takes for my hair to grow out. I can't really see it. 
I will say though that some of them do work because since using the onion water, I have realized that my, there's a lot of black going on here when before then it was very patchy so i can see that it works another thing that i plan on doing is um i bought those hair gummies that they sell i take a lot and i click those that blue bottle so i'm going to try that out for a couple of months see how that works hopefully it works out for me I will continue to grow my hair out naturally. I just hope that somewhere in this process, I fall in love with it again and that it falls in love with me and it stops being so, just so like it's very difficult to deal with and not in the sense that it's like hard or anything. It's just emotionally, it's hard for me to deal with it. And I did not realize that until today when I was washing it or after washing it and I was like, should I put it in twists? Because, you know, the conditioner that I put in my hair, it's an overnight conditioner. So I have to wash it off in the morning. So I was thinking I could just twist it. That would also be cute for the video because I'd have cute little twists in the video. Also, it would make the video very long. But it didn't take me two seconds for me to just answer the question with a huge no, no. <laughs> and I say this with a very sore heart. No, I decided I will not be twisting it. I do not have the energy for it. I don't have the energy to twist today, wash tomorrow, and twist braid like one thing i realized right now is with growing my hair is i just want it to be put away and i try to tell myself that i'm only going to do this until the hairline recovers fully and the hair is long enough or big enough for me to style it but the first time around when i grew my natural hair i would style the hell out of it but also that's another thing that um caused the re recession in my hairline is that I would always do very tight hairstyles you know when you have natural hair you like to do that high puff which i miss so much i would do two ponytails i would include some clips not clips but like at least one picture one good picture that i took of the hair so yeah that has been my natural hair journey thus far it's not the easiest it's not the most exciting like just thinking about it makes me want to cry but what can you do you know i just have to trust the process and hope that eventually i will start like we'll start feeding off of each other me and the so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that little hair video i decided i should do a hair, hair wash video or hair i don't know what to call this but whatever it is it's vlog style baby so how the hair looks right now is the conditioner is kind of like you can still see it i did put a lot of product in here but it's because my hair is quite thick so it does require a lot of product it's slowly but surely setting in i can still see the white but i think by tomorrow or by the time and you, i'm sure you guys can see the white as well by the time I go to bed, it should be fully absorbed by the hair strands. Another thing, it's so expensive. Grow natural hair products are so expense expensive. I don't know how I used to do it before. I used to love buying products. Buying, buying products was a hobby for me. Now I get in there and I'm sure you guys saw that in uh, the second last vlog I posted. I get there and instead of looking at the product and what it does, I'm looking at the numbers. Just running the numbers. 150, no ways. And that's not how it used to be. That's what I'm saying. I have fallen out of love with the with growing my natural hair. But hopefully if I continue watching natural hair videos and embracing the natural hair community i will fall in love with it again but anyway i'll come back to, to you guys with an update in a couple of months regarding my hair growth journey and i just hope that uh when when i do that i will be at a different place in my life okay thank you for watching guys bye i hope you're enjoying vlogtober please remember to subscribe remember to like the videos comment uh recommend to your friends and as always my name is Dolly Hakeshe. i'm a part full-time phd student and a part-time youtuber and thank you for watching 
bye